Hi, thanks for joining us here on RT International. Our breaking news for you this hour, the French media reporting one person decapitated, several injured on a factory attack in Grenoble, southeastern France. Let's get more on this fluid breaking news here. Crossover to RT's Peter Oliver, who can now join us here on the program. Uh, good to see you, Peter. Can you give us the latest? What do you know about this? Hey, Rory. Yes, well, what's happening right now, and it is important to understand that this is all unraveling and coming to uh, light it, second by second. Um, we know that one person is dead and that many other, uh, several others are injured following um, what seems to be two men approaching a gas factory, uh, a factory that was producing liquid gas, ramming through the gates there, driving in into um, and setting off an explosion which injured several people. There's also been, when I say one person killed, the decapitated body of um, one person who is understood to not have been an employee of the factory um, has been found as well. Um, now, the uh, it's important to understand that we still have no motive for who was behind this attack. However, um, a, 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 what's been referred to in the French media as an Islamic flag has been found at the scene. Um, this all comes on the back of, if it does work, turn out that this is related to his, um, Islamic extremist terrorism, is another event in what's been a, a series of, of very serious attacks in France over this, this year alone. Um, the year began with, um, with, uh, with uh, people driving cars into people at, the, um, at French Christmas markets. We then saw the, the horrors of, of the Charlie Abdo attacks, the, the um, murderous attacks that took place at the satirical news magazine there, um, and also attacks on a, um, on a kosher supermarket in Paris uh, just in, in January of this year. So um, if this attack does turn out to be uh, something that is related to, to Islamic terrorism, it shows that it is another example of France being the victim of, um, of this type of attacks. As I say, at the moment, we have one person confirmed as killed, one person confirmed as beheaded, that's the same one, and, um, and several people have been injured as explosions uh, were heard around the area of a, 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 a liquid gas producing factory. Uh, all of this unravelling at the moment. Of course, I'll be bringing you all of the latest as soon as we get any news here on RT. But um, yes, it, it does seem at the moment like uh, with this Islamic flag being found at the scene that France has yet again been the victim of an attack uh, from terrorist organisations of radical Islam. All right, RT's Peter Oliver there with the latest on this breaking news. Thanks very much indeed. In fact, I've got a couple of uh, items to update our viewers on here now very, very quickly regarding the breaking news. Peter, thanks for that. Um, a police source uh, cited by uh, RTL Radio saying that other attacks cannot be ruled out. Uh, one official uh, speaking on condition of anonymity uh, saying the uh, dead person, uh, the decapitated body that was found, or the head was found near perhaps the entrance to the factory. Uh, the French Prime Minister calling for greater vigilance on all potential risky sites uh, where there are reports that Arabic writing was found on the severed head pinned to the gates of this French factory. Uh, we understand that one person has been arrested. So those are the very latest bits and pieces on this developing breaking news here on RT International. Now this attack is the latest in a string of alleged Islamist linked attacks in France this year. January 2015, two men with guns and other weapons killed 11 people and injured 11 more in an attack on the Charlie Hebdo magazine. Two days after the deadly shooting, a kosher food shop was targeted in Paris. A radical Islamist murdered four Jewish hostages and held 15 others during the following siege. 